Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's nine box home run trot baseball mixer featuring an autograph Vlad Guerrero Jr. Autograph baseball. An autograph baseball, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. And there are the teams right here. All teams are in. And at the end of the break, we'll uh, new dice roll. At the end of the break, we'll take everyone's names, randomize those names, name on top. We'll get the Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph baseball. Let's roll the dice. And let's randomize each list three and a four, seven times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got EO down to Justin Marshall. Three and a four, seven times for the teams. Good luck, teams. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, there you go. And seventh and final time. Cleveland Indians down to the Phillies. All right. EO with the Cleveland Indians. Steven, last spot mojo. Yankees. Kip with the Nationals. Darren with the Cardinals. Levi, you got the Oakland A's. Steven with the White Sox and the Rockies. Chris Parent with the Mariners. Hi. Jason Reardon, you got the Marlins. J-Mac, you got my Dodgers. Drew Kerr with the Cubbies. Justin with the Rays. Steven with the Braves. Big Boys 007 with the Reds. Ethan with the Red Sox. John, you got the Twins. Derek with the Orioles. Eric Coyle with the Angels. Karen with the Tigers. Steven with the Blue Jays. Michael Coons with the Pirates. J-Mac with the Mets. Brewers for Daniel. Laura with the Royals. Ethan with the Astros. Rangers for Daniel Patera. Russ, you got the Diamondbacks. Sean Parr with the Giants. Gilo, you got the Padres. Justin Marshall with the Phillies. Now, be sure to keep in mind the boxes that we have in this break before you, uh, before you consider trading. Right, so think about your 2019 players right here, ladies and gentlemen. So... Trade at your own risk. All right. Trade accepted. Okay, for what? Cubs Marlins? There you go. Cubs Marlins confirmed. Drew is out of the Cubs spot. And where's the Marlins? There it is. And Jason's out of the Marlins spot. Jason now has the Cubs, his Cubs. And Drew with the Marlins. We'll put a little T next to there so we know it's for, tr for a trade. All right, looks like another trade was accepted. Royals for... I don't see... Oh, Yankees for Royals? Peter, you don't have the Yankees, so you can't really trade the Yankees. So that's not going to happen. Nice try, though. All right, well, let's close up the trade window then. Let 
Let's print and let's rip. Good luck, everybody. All right, there's the official printout right here on the 11th. Jaspie's nine box home run trot baseball mixer. There you go. So Jason now has his Cubs. Drew searching for Victor Victor Mesa now in the trade. There's everyone right there. And good luck. No, not Mesa Mesa. Victor Victor. All right, so let's do the oldest box first. What's the oldest box? 2012 Elite Extra Edition? It's a blast from the past. So here's all the boxes right here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 2012 Elite Extra Edition. Six autograph cards per box. Now there may be some uh, there may be some Team USA cards right here, but by now they should be um, they should be on a major league team. So we'll look those up. If we pull those, Inter international players as well, or college team USA guys, high school team USA guys, so we'll look those up. And if they're not associated with a team, then we'll randomize them to uh, someone in the break. Right, all the guys had never made it. Hopefully we'll find a guy that's made it. Good luck, everybody. There's J-Mac, too. With, uh, oh, yeah, Mets Dodgers, right. That's good. <laughs> Jason saying, I'll probably end up with a with an effing Carl Edwards Jr. autograph. You would request it to be set on fire in the store. That I would not do. Because there's way too many valuable things to risk that. Maybe outside. Maybe in the parking lot. The camera doesn't reach all the way there, though. So you'll just have to trust me that I did it. Now, if you really don't want it, I'll, I'll give it to one of the kids that come into the store. We'll do that. And they can put it in their bike spokes or something. See what we got here. Oh, man, this is back in 2012. There's Tyler Wagner. 21 out of 100 for the Brewers. Don't remember him. Maybe Brewers fans do. I wonder what, what treasures we can find in 2012. Does anyone know off the top of their heads? There's Mac Williamson. Oh, he's still with the Giants. Out of 533. I think he, uh, I think we were at some event, some Panini event, some spring training event. I, I think Nick went and Mac Williamson did some uh, a couple breaks with him. Opened a couple boxes with Nick Jaspi. Oh, there's Michael Waka. Waka Waka Waka. Is Alex Wood? Oh, there's Nick Jaspi saying. Oh, Max Muncy, Chris Bryant, Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton, Addison Russell, and Joey Gallo in this? All right, all right. 
And Darren Ruff as well. Don't forget Darren Ruff, Nick. 6 out of 25 for the Phillies. Justin Marshall. Excuse me. We got Travis Jankowski. I think he's still with the Padres. Die cut. And there's a, a oh well he's a Yankee in this in this set. That's Rob Ref Snyder. Wait, is he still a Yankee? Four twenty two out of seven ninety nine. That goes to Steven Yarmola and the Yankees. Last spot mojo. There's Joe Munoz, 319 out of 498. For the Diamondbacks, Russ with the Diamondbacks. And we've got Jersey Notto, Keegan Thompson. Is he associated with a MLB team? Has been a little while. There he is. His parent club is the Cubs. So from 18 and under, national team. Well, I'm going to switch screens just for a second. There he is. With the Cubbies. So that goes to Jason Reardon, who gets the Cubs in a trade. He's, in, he's a double-A guy. He's with the Tennessee Smokies right now, Jason. What's he doing? Five innings, eight strikeouts, just one walk. Wow. There you go. Tyler Wagner, 200 for the Brewers. Looks like he's had a pretty good... I don't know, look at his... Here, I'll drop you the link to his, his player page, Jason. You can learn about this kid. See what he's up to. There's Zach Eisler, 200. And there's Victor Roche. Green ink autograph to 748. They gave him the green pen. And that is for the Brewers as well. So that's for Daniel Patera. And there you go. That's Elite Extra Edition from back in 2012. Let's see where I'm going to put all this. Put this over here. All right. The What's after 2012? We've got 2015 Bowman Chrome Baseball. There you are. Oh, Jock Peterson on here. He's been hitting pretty well these days. So let's see what we got here. 2012, or 2015, that is. We went from 12 to three years later. Roman Chrome. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's see, how are my picks doing? Did the did the Pirates hang on? They did. The Pirates hung on to win. Nice. Can green that up. Yeah, there's Sam Surrey saying Pirates win 2-1. I'm on the Yankees tonight. I think they're the MLB... Network game right now. They're tied at two. Oh, Tampa Bay's in their old Devil Rays uniforms. So 
So I think that this game is tied at two. And I put a tiny, tiny little bit on the Marlins on the off chance they can beat Jacob deGrom. Oh, they're up one nothing in the top of the fourth. That might not last, but I'll be lucky if I do. I'm on the Royals tonight. They're in the third inning, scoreless. And then I'm on my Dodgers tonight. Walker Buehler facing off against Max Scherzer. I think most of you will get that on MLB Network. I think that's the MLB Network game, which is, I think, blacked out in our area because, because network reasons. Or regional coverage. Tyler Glass now went down with a big injury, right? All right. Lucas Duda leads us off. And our autograph is Amori's uh, Minier. For the Twins, that's going to go to John, John Stoltenberg with the Twins. There you go, John. We got nice some of these Blue Wave cards here, which, which will ship, obviously. There's Hunter Pence. Look at that. That's, that that's, those are the eyes of an axe murderer, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. And you see how he wields the bat, too? Like an axe. I would argue that if you triangulated unsolved axe murders to when the Giants are in town, I think there'd be a strong correlation. Just saying. For the Phillies, Victor Arano. 170 out of 250. Justin Marshall with that. There'll be a true crime po podcast on that soon, I'm sure. We got Archie Bradley to 150. Got mini Jose Peraza. Got Jacob deGrom, series next, die cut. We got Nick Gordon. Oh, it's one of these cards. When is Nick Gordon getting called up? I feel like he's been like a prospect forever, right? And we've got Ian Clarkin. Eight out of 50 gold for the Yankees. Steven Yarmola with the Yanks. J-Max conceding that he does look like an axe murderer, but he has never wielded an axe like that. I don't know, because you're not a murderer, J-Max. Because you're not a murderer. That's why you would never wield an axe like that. The only axe murderers are just like, ah! That's, that's, what, that's what he's doing. I'm telling you, look up your local stats. From 2015... We're going to 2000, I guess we're now in 1819 now. So let's go with 2018 Diamond Kings baseball. I enjoy the Diamond Kings. Yeah, he is a ranger now, isn't he? That, I, always, I always keep thinking he's a giant. But he was mostly with the Giants. So you can, you can still look at when the Giants were in town. Look at unsolved axe murders. If there are new axe murders in AL cities... You can try and you can correlate that as well. Gilo should say we should be more concerned on what his average is with an axe. It's, it's probably probably a uh, a bloody good one. Deadly. 
he probably uses he's he's probably gonna start using those those uh have you seen those bat knobs that look like an axe handle bats those axe handle bats some ball players are using probably start using starts using that soon you'll know you'll see his wild eyes it's crazy eyes All right, 2018. 2018 Diamond King is coming at you. All right, we have Manchester City Superfan here. Hello. Good luck, everybody. Gilo's attempting to defend Hunter Pence. He's actually a video game streamer every now and then. Oh, oh, I see. He's a big Diablo fan, which does have axes in it. See, Gilo, thank you for that information. See, additional info on why Hunter Pence May or may not be allegedly, but probably truly an axe murder. Allegedly. I don't want to get sued by Hunter Pence for slander or libel or whatever. Carlos Correa autograph. Nice. That's a good one for Ethan Tanney and the Houston Astros. Nice hit. Roberto Clement. I think these might be little variations, so I'll set those aside. We got Aaron Judge, red frame. We got Alex Verdugo, who's been playing well. Especially with AJ Pollock down, he's getting that playing time. And we've got a nice 20 out of 25 on a really heavy card stock, JP Crawford. It's a cool dual relic there, it's some good. But that looks like the part of the lettering it has that vibe. This goes into a 180 top loader, I think so. There you go. That goes to Justin Marshall and the fight and fills. Russ, what's going on? Yes, Craig is correct. There was a uh, autograph of some. I honestly don't remember who, but. There was an autograph from 2012 Elite Extra Edition. There's Dustin Fowler to 99, gray frame. There's Miguel Andujar, black and white parallel. Stand the Man Musial to 99, artist proof. And there you have it. All right, let's stay in 2018. Should we do Broman Chrome? You know what? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save these few boxes, just for the end. This HT only has three autographs in here. I want to save the uh, the nicer stuff at the end, and I'm gonna save that 2019 Bowman Baseball box right here too. So we'll do these two first, then we'll do that, and then we'll go into the uh, the the single pack stuff. Uh, let's go with Donner's Optic right here. Baseball. Oh, I missed this. This is 2016. We weren't. Now we're just all over the place. All 
All right. Good luck, everybody. We'll do Gypsy Queen after this. And our shipping crew will be sure to grab all the variations out of that Gypsy Queen as well. You should be able to spot those. Let's get to you some score updates here in MLB. Uh, early on, Red Sox beat the Mariners 9-5. to In the first of a doubleheader, the Tigers beat the Twins 5-3. to Pirates edged out the Cardinals 2-1. to In 15 innings, the Cubs beat the Brewers 2-1. to Wow. White Sox beat the Blue Jays 7-2. Angels beat the Orioles 7-2. And the Oakland A's edged out the Cleveland Indians 3-2 in Oakland. Who is that? It looks like it was Contreras. Wilson Contreras had that walk-off, by the way, in that Cubs game. Bottom of the 15th. Looks cold out there. Apparently, Madison Bumgarner submits an eight-team no-trade list. His contract allows him to block eight teams. And according to Ken Rosenthal, the teams are Braves, Red Sox, Cubs, Astros, Brewers, Yankees, Phillies, and Cardinals. Bob Garner chose these teams strategically. List comprised solely of contenders that might want to acquire him for the Giants, not teams he wants to avoid. I'm not, I'm not, I don't understand that. Oh, I see. Now, now the fact that those teams are on Bumgarner's list doesn't necessarily mean he does he wants to avoid them. Rather, it's a way for Bumgarner to gain some leverage over a situation. All right, interesting. All right. Nomar Mazzara to two ninety nine. Aroldis Chapman to twenty five. Is this a parallel hot box? Jorge Lopez to 149. It is. Yadier Molina to 149. Let's leave all these up in a minute. Garrett Cole, Pirates to 199. Johnny Cueto to 149. Jose Bautista to 199. Zach Granke. To 299. Prince Fielder to 99. Travis Jankowski to 199. Odubel Herrera to 199. Love these parallel hot boxes. There's Mookie Betts. To 149. And there's Elias Diaz, 77 out of 99. Rated rookie autograph. He's got a nice auto. Pirates. Michael Kuntz with the Pirates. Seventy-seven out of ninety-nine. Jeremy Hazel Baker to 99. There's Padres edition of Matt Kemp to 149. Has he been picked up yet? He was released by the Reds. There's Buster Posey to 50. I feel like a an AL team would pick him up, right? I, he can still hit. Uh, say there's Brandon Phillips to 99. There's Nelson Cruz to 299. Jonathan Lucroy. Prospects, Andrew Benintendi, back when he was a prospect. There's AJ Pollock to 299. And Kyle Schwarber, autograph? Yes. Rookie auto Kyle Schwarber for the Cubs. That goes to Jason Reardon and the Cubbies. So Jason drawing first blood in that trade.
There's Altuve to 299. And Adam Wainwright to 199. Yeah, there you go, Jason. Jason likes that one. All right, nice hot box and a nice couple autos. All right. Well, hopefully we'll be able to even it out for uh, for Drew. Could be a monster in that Bowman baseball at the very end. Gilo wouldn't be. Gilo's like, hey, what do what? Royals should pick up Matt Kent. Couldn't get any worse than Chris Owings in the DH spot. Yeah, Kemp can still hit. He's just he's just a serious liability in the field. You know, in the outfield, he can't really play in any like infield positions as well. So, and you know, he's more prone to injury running around out there. But he, I mean, he can still swing a bat. The first half of last season for the Dodgers, guy was raking. So I, th I feel like I feel like he needs to make that transition to the AL and just DH, just hit. He can still hit. Especially if that's just all he, all he focuses on. All right, let's go to some Gypsy Queen. Two on-card autographs per box. EO saying, I'm still holding out faith for me to break his cold streak. I'm into it. I'm into it. How did Kemp get so fragile? Genetics. J Mac genetics. I think when he signed with the Padres, they signed him knowing that he had like a like a degenerative like hip issue or something like that. Some joints or some some cartilage or something like that that was just you know not as uh, That just for his age were just deteriorating a little bit more quickly due to, due to his. Uh, I'm assuming genetics. Yeah, maybe he just <laughs> Gilo's like maybe he didn't eat his vegetables. Yeah, maybe he didn't eat his vegetables. But yeah, no, he hasn't, I, and I think that's one of the reasons why the 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 Dodgers didn't want to give him that big contract either, knowing that that he could have some like long term he could have some you know knee and hip issues and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I think that's why. I think that's that's certainly what has derailed his derailed his career after a really hot start to his career. But I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of players probably carry those kind of injuries. Like every pitcher has some sort of uh, every pitcher has some sort of elbow issue. You know, whether it's, I mean, most people, most pitchers pitch fine with an elbow issue, but if you do MRIs and everything on every single pitcher, you're going to find some issue. Yeah, Craig saying Kemp struggled with almost all the clubs he's played for. He's only had success in LA. Yeah. I think, I mean, he was, he was certainly great for the first half of last season with the Dodgers. I think I think uh, he's got to go to an AL team though. He's got to at least give that a shot. I think he still has some some more to give as just a DH or something like that. If someone takes a shot at him, that would be a good play for him. He's also been I think only with NL teams, right? So he's a liability in the field. But if he just focuses on hitting, which he still he which he still can do, I think that could be an interesting move. You know, for a team that wants to, an AL team that maybe wants to give that a shot. Oh, the Rays are up 4 2 now. I, th I think there were some defensive mistakes with the Yankees. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing to, you know. He's carved out a decent major league career, and he dated Rihanna for a little bit. So, yeah, no one's feeling bad for him.
people say that uh, people in LA definitely say that that Rihanna definitely had like a had like a Kardashian effect on him. He didn't really play well that year. <laughs> and there's Cool Whit Merrifield. Nice Cool Whit going to Laura and the Royals. There's the blank nameplate. Right there, Robbins Cano, Mets, J Mac, that variation. at the end. Alex Corn on the cob. Avisio Garcia. Should be expecting one more on-card autograph. Bulldog saying, I'm here. Did I miss you? <laughs> You're here. We were waiting for you. You missed everything, man. There's Jose Martinez. You should have been here at the begin since the beginning of the show. Jose Martinez, Cardinals, Darren McKenzie with that one. D-Mac. There you go. You missed everything, Bulldog. Tons of inside jokes. Just amazing moments. There were there were there was tears. There were laughs. There was drama. Resolution. Oh my God! It was. We we all we all learned something today. You know. We all really, really got together. We all learned something. I mean, pretty yeah, pretty much everything happened. That's why you should just never miss a moment on jazbeescasebreaks.com, folks. There's Elvis Andrews to 250. Just never miss a moment. Always be watching. Remember, you can take us anywhere with your YouTube app, on your phone, on your mobile device, at work. Put your phone in a Ziploc bag. You can watch in the shower, in the pool. Some of these can be autographed. I haven't seen one of those yet. That would be pretty cool. And there's Michael Conforto right there. Some of these can be autographed too. Auto. No, but there's Luis Urias for Gabe and the Padres. There you go, Gilo. And there's Ozzy Albius. Hello, Jace. Oh, sorry. Hey, guys, I'm new. I'm Joe. Welcome. And there's Aaron Judge to 50. That goes to Steven Armolo. All right, let me actually re-up on some supplies here. I think I need, no, maybe I'll be okay. Let's see if I can make it through the end. No, I'm gonna need more of these. Chase is wondering what this is. We are unboxing high-end sports cards. Baseball cards, football cards, basketball, hockey, etc. So that's where that's what this is. We're unboxing 
things. People buy teams and this sort of stuff. So we're going to do 2019 Bowman, three autographs in here, and then we'll do these three right here. So people buy teams and they cross their fingers and hope that their team that their team pops out of here, autographs and relics and whatnot. That's the whole idea. Wayne wants me to drop a break schedule. I would if there was one. I don't think anything sold out after this. There has been no break schedule. Let's refresh the website. Is there anything that's moving closer? We got a spot move. Someone picked up a player in that clearly authentic break. Fanatics under wraps is only four spots away. Black Gold is still holding at six. That college uh, prism draft picks is still holding at three on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, the basketball mixer is down to seven. Looks like a couple spots moved in uh, prime hockey. And we're, uh, we're steadily moving that 18-19, uh, our last case of uh, National Treasures basketball. So nothing, no schedule as of yet, Wayne, but I'm sure something will fill up soon after this break is over, which will be in about 15, 20 minutes. All right, good luck, everybody. Almost there. That's right, Arson saying clearly authentic. That's what he wants. Arson, sell, sell us on it, Arson. Tell tell the crew why they should get into clearly authentic. It's one thing to just type in the name of a product in the chat, but ask him, hey, tell him, hey, this is what you're missing out on. Why did you buy it? Why do you like it? Tell the people. Three autographs in this one. This is 2019 edition. So think about your 2019 draft class. What's up, Vince? Punisher Prime in the house. Hydro do you know in the uh... Um yeah, I think next Wednesday Panini is bringing back Prism Baseball. So we should have pre-orders for that posted over the next few days or so. So keep an eye on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. That should be a really good new release. All right, and per usual, obviously the paper paper base doesn't doesn't ship. Are there? Does anyone know? Has anyone checked the Panini blog lately? Have they posted any preview pictures of that Prism Baseball? I do enjoy the Prism Baseball. I'm glad they brought it back. And nice Casey Mize. Bowman Scouts top 100, 7 out of 50. Wow. Great, excellent prospect for Karen and the Tigers. She got randomized the Tigers. Nice. There you go, Arson. So yeah, I, I honestly I'd really love to do that clearly authentic today. Let's not hold, let's not do that later. Let's do that tonight. It's 40 boxes, as Arson's saying in the chat. You pick your favorite player. Expensive players for high rollers. Inexpensive players for the low rollers. In fact, the, the cheaper players may have a better chance of hitting in this. And slabbed autographs, they're all encased autos. So there you go. Thanks, Arson. Yeah, we should do it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Don Rapp saying, my is no-hit my hometown area Altoona Curve a few weeks ago. He did. I think that was his – there's Bryce Wilson to 50. 
I want to say that was his first start after being promoted. Has he had a start since? Yeah, I think he's the real deal, right? That's what people are saying. People seem to be saying he's the real deal Holyfield. And I think he was drafted out of college, right? I'm pretty sure he went to like Auburn or something like that. So unlike, um, unlike high school draftees, we'll probably see Casey Mize sooner rather than later, maybe within like a couple years. You know, I'm sure that if he keeps progressing through the minors, I'm sure the Tigers will be interested in, in, uh, in kind of accelerating his timeline too. You didn't even say anything, Ryan. What are you joking about? And Blarg, yeah. We pulled, we've pulled. we been pulling big hits left and right already. Should be expecting two more autos out of here. I mean, they're all in this stack then. There's um, Orelvis Martinez, 77 out of 299 speckle for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Steve Yarmola. J yeah, Jace, it's okay if you hang with us every night if you want to. So as long as you can hang with the, hang with the grown-ups, then yes. You don't really have to ask permission. It's a public public live stream. Wow, there's a huge auto coming up, folks. Did you guys see it? Some may have spotted the red. Some may have spotted the Tigers logo. It's a second Casey Mize on-card autograph, four out of five for Karen and the Tigers. This is a random break, folks. You got randomized the Tigers. Wow. That is huge. The number one pick in the 2018 draft right there. That is strong. Karen. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Two. Two Mises. It's incredible. Yeah, Jason Reardon thinking of what? A couple thousand? Maybe more? Might even be, uh, might even be worth, uh, might even be worth grading. Big Boys L07 saying two, three grand. Might be worth grading too, I think. Royce Lewis to 250. Purple paper. There's Mize again. They're bringing Bowman Sterling back, folks. I think they're bringing that back later this year. I'm sure we'll get some of it. All right, should be one more autograph in here. And there it is. Chad Spangenberger for Steven Yarmola and the Blue Birds, the Blue Jays. And Big Boys 007 thinking, man, graded. 
If it gets graded like a 10, maybe $9,000, that, that would not surprise me. I know, I'll, I'll take a out of five as well. <laughs> All right, so there's your third and final autograph. That's, this is a pretty incredible box. It looks like that's it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What a box of 2019 Bowen Baseball. All right, let's get into this stuff right here. You put this over here. So a little bit of room. All right, good luck, folks. Tops Inception Baseball. It should be in a one. Oh, we would never do something like that, Jason. We're going to put that in a one touch. Maybe after Karen gets it, she should put it in a one touch. But it's the safest in a penny sleeve and a top loader. Does not move around as much. Where are the hits here? God, I forgot how this is configured. Oh, there it is. There's Ramon Laureano. Jake Bowers, Indians edition to 150. And behind Ryan Baruki is Willie Adams for the Rays to 75. Nice. That goes to Justin Humphrey in the race. Car Blast, you want to get in on selling the Clearly Authentic? Yeah, make your pitch. Triple Threads. Our, break, our three, three box breaks of Triple Threads last night were pretty incredible. Check those out. Those are a treat. I hope so. Let's not overhype it, Mr. Mike Shaddy. Let's not overhype it. It should be nice, though. Got Bartolo Colon. Let's bring him back into the league. At a two ninety nine, someone should sign him. Carlos Correa to ninety nine for the Astros. Yankees edition of Giancarlo Stanton to one ninety nine. Yankees down four two in the eighth. Benintendi to two fifty nine. And we've got a triple relic, Max Scherzer, Bryce Harper, Steven Strasburg. Max Scherzer pitching against my Dodgers tonight. And behind Giancarlo Stan is Walker Bueller. Max Scherzer will be facing Walker Bueller. Tonight. Yeah, I will after this break, Wayne. Well, it's a pick your player break, so. Uh, J Mac with the Dodgers. And we've got. Triple Relic and Autograph, Paul DeYoung. That's nice. Nine out of 35. 
Yeah, that's a nice hit too. That's that's rookie Walker Bueller as well. J Mac. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. Paul DeYoung going to the Cardinals. That's for Darren McKenzie. And behind Adam Jones is Rugnet Odur. One out of 27 jersey. That goes to the Rangers, Daniel Patera. Nice one for the Rangers. All right, next one. We still have three, three autos to go, EO. Three autos to go. We got Brandon Marsh for the Angels. That goes to Eric Coyle. We got Matt Hall for the Tigers. That goes to Karen. And we've got Aramis Aidman. 16 out of 50, Gold Shimmer. That goes to the Cubbies, Jason, with the Cubs in the trade. And there you go, boys and girls. That was a nice baseball break. It was really nice. A lot of great stuff in here, a lot of nice hits. So thank you very much, everyone, for getting into it, for getting into the Jaspies 9-box Home Run Trot Baseball Mixer featuring a lot of great stuff. Thank you, and we'll see you next time for the next one, jazbeescasebreaks.com.